So I've been asked, why is all, does all property have to be private? And there's something deeply flawed about the question. Because all there is is private. All there is at the end of the day are individuals. So all property is owned by somebody. Now, it could be a group of somebodies in a sense of a corporate entity, uh, uh, some kind of a partnership, uh, you know, some conglomeration of individuals that are legally bound. But there's no such thing as, so that's private. The alternative to private property is that nobody owns it. It's either somebody owns it or nobody owns it. Now, I know that you're thinking of why can't it be public property? But there is nobody that's the public. There is no entity that is the public. The public is just a conglomeration of individuals. And those individuals have particular rights. And one of those rights is a right to property. And, but there's no collective ownership of anything because there's no collective. There's no collective brain. There's no collective production. There's no collective. There's no public. There's no group other than the individuals within that collective. It's in individuals that own stuff. So public property today is really owned by nobody. There is, you know, the, or you could say the government owns it, but who is the government? And, and how did, what does that mean that it's government owned? And this is why there's so much confusion about how do you deal with so-called public property? How do you decide? Let's take public schools. How do you decide what should be taught in the schools? Do we vote on what the truth is? Do we, do, you know, do we vote on what math we should teach? Do we, I mean, do you teach creationism or evolution? Well, how would you decide in a private school? Well, the teachers would decide and then the parents would decide whether to send their kids there or not. It would be private. The private owner would make a decision. But in a public school, how, how do you decide? What is the criteria? There is no criteria, there's no criteria. If you have a piece of land, should we turn it into a uh, natural reserve? Should we uh, drill for oil? Should we use it to dump all our garbage? Or should we, you know, sell it? How do you, how do you make a decision? Vote? Why, why should the majority force the minority to use what supposedly at the end of the day, it doesn't belong to anybody. So there is no standard by which you decide how to use it. Public property is not owned by anybody, and that's why it's usually in such bad shape. Public institutions are in bad shape. Public education is a disaster. Public anything is a disaster. For that reason, nobody owns it. So the only alternative is private ownership. Individuals, because only individuals exist. And, you know, individuals are the ones who create stuff, and private ownership at the end of the day is a product of being productive, of creating wealth. If you as an individual create wealth, it's yours. It's private. The public doesn't create wealth. The public doesn't build anything, so it can't own anything.